In this video, I'm going to explain to you two techniques to measure pH in a lab. First, the classic way to measure pH when you're in a lab setting is by using indicators. And these are chemical compounds that will lead to a color change. And the way they work is that you add a small amount of the indicator to your solution. You will pick from a list, from a list of different indicators, like as you can see here. And depending on the pH of your solution, you will see the color change. And well, the, the way they work is that they'll be measuring for the amount of hydrogen ions you have in your solution, because that's the definition of the pH. And depending on that number, you will see that the color can shift from, like, as you can see in alizarin right here, it can go from yellow to violet, depending on if it's acidic or basic. Therefore, the whole point of using an indicator is to obtain a range of your values so that you know if you have an acidic or if you have a basic solution. So they can be useful for different things like titrations, but they're not very exact in that they will not tell you what your pH really is. They'll just give you a range of, of, of where it could be. So another example in this indicator chart is that let's use methyl orange. For methyl orange specifically, you will have different indicators and you have to know kind of where, like what their color change could be. Because there really isn't an universal indicator in that red is always acidic or blue is always basic. So you'll have to be careful with that. But as I said, for the case of methyl orange, when you have an acidic solution, you will see that it's red and its value is about three for pH, but as it goes up to becoming more basic and reaches numbers like 4 or 5, it will turn yellow or orange. So that's how indicators work. Now if you want a more exact measurement of the pH, you'll probably want to use a pH meter, which is an electronic device that can tell you the exact number of your solution. And the way it works is that you have this device that has a display that will show the number once you put in the part of the of the equipment that that can measure the pH of the solution. So depending on your device, it might have a needle that you can submerge into your solution. And just like any electronic device, it needs to be calibrated. So you need to use a standard solution before you put in your actual solution to make sure that it's working. And finally, the science behind the pH meter is that it will measure the voltage of your solution. So, so the number displayed on the pH meter is going to depend on the potential difference that is generated from the hydrogen ion concentration of your solution. Meaning that there's a voltage created by the hydrogen ions of the solution. And that wraps it up for this video. Indicators are a little more common, but they don't give you such an accurate number as a pH meter. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And also, if you have any comments or thoughts, don't hesitate asking us.